Well, you know, it really is an emblem of wild Florida that has survived over thousands of years despite the odds. The Florida panther has clawed its way from the brink of extinction over the past 50 years. But the survival of the species is still very much in question. Now a Florida man is fighting to save the big cat and the wild land it needs to truly make a comeback. And he's hoping his new film will inspire the world to join him. On tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure, Louis Aguirre shows us the path of the panther. If you go to Zoo Miami and you happen to catch a glimpse of Mahala, the five-year-old Florida panther rescued as a cub, consider yourself a very lucky human. It is a really rare experience to see one with your own eyes. They're extremely elusive. They're primarily nocturnal. They rely on the forest. Like a ghost in the wild, even here at the zoo, spotting her is never a sure thing. She's sitting under a bush 15 feet away and we can't even see her. Carlton Ward is a National Geographic Explorer, photographer, and eighth generation Florida native on a mission to save the Florida panther. This project has been the hardest thing I've ever attempted. His new documentary, Path of the Panther, underscores just how daunting it is for one of the most endangered animals on the planet to survive in the rapidly developing Florida of today. This is the number one cause of death, right? Vehicle collision is number one. But in the last two weeks, we have three. On average, 25 panthers are killed by cars every year. Only an estimated 200 are left in the wild, though the numbers are up from just 30 cats in the 1970s. Recovery is still far away. It's not possible to support a population of panthers or animals that move that wildly without protecting a lot of land. That's why Ward has been fighting for the expansion of the Florida Wildlife Corridor. Signed into law by Governor DeSantis in 2021, it's a network of public and private lands connected to preserve green space for wildlife like the panther that for decades has been pushed to the brink by humans. Florida panthers once roamed the entire southeast, now mostly confined to just a small region along the Gulf of Mexico. They can survive here, but they can't thrive. It's very difficult for them to hunt here. The Wildlife Corridor is a way conservationists believe we can save a path for the panther or it's going to be lost forever. The issue is it's running out of space. It's not a wetland cat. Frank Ridgely heads the conservation department at Zoo Miami. He says we need at least 600 cats for the species to make a comeback and three times as much land to make that happen. If we maintain those corridors, we give them a chance to continue to move north into these areas. But the window to make this happen is rapidly closing. Only 27% of Florida is public land. Not enough, especially with 100,000 acres a year being lost to new roads and new developments. So this is that moment where we are going to either send it further on its path to recovery or keep it stuck on an island on life support in South Florida for the future. That's why Ward made the film, hoping to ignite a spark for conservation. This is it. This is nature's last stand. But bringing the story of the panther to the screen was no easy task. It's so hard to show the story. And you have to show people to create that connection, that love. Damn. It took five years and a strategic setup of camera traps in panther territory to finally get the stunning images he needed. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. A new hope after a female panther was captured on film north of the Caloosahatchee River and north of Southwest Florida. And she wasn't alone. And she has two Florida panther kittens following right behind her. That was the moment where the focus shifted to that next generation and the panthers are showing us this is possible. In the end, it's not just about saving the panther, but saving all of wild Florida. This is our home. And the stakes have never been higher. I want audiences to be proud that this is our state and this wildness and this beauty exists right here. And it's on our watch. This wild heart, if we pay attention to it, the panther is actually going to help us save Florida, not just for it and for other species, but for us. It is that wild Florida that reinforces our coastal resiliency, cleans our water for drinking and recreation, and supports our farmers, our ranchers, and our indigenous people. The panther is fighting for all of us. So far, since the Florida Wildlife Corridor Act was passed, some 75,000 acres have been preserved. We're going to need a lot more land. 
The Path of the Panther is in select theaters right now and will begin streaming on Disney Plus next month. If you'd like to learn more about what you can do to help save the Panther, we have that link, scan that QR code there. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on local10.com. It is the spine that connects all of wild Florida. And Florida without wild Florida simply cannot exist. Christy, you know this all too well. You're going to take us deep into that Florida Wildlife Quarter next month. We when, are. With your special, right? Yeah, we just in January took our eco hero Sienna out into wild Florida, not just a tracking panther, but the bear and the deer and the manatee, all the animals oh, that call that highway home. So we'll have that for you next month. Can't wait for that. Yeah, that was Thanks, awesome. Louis. Awesome job, Louie. We always learn so much from your pieces, but I so enjoyed that one because the Florida panther is so elusive. Mm -hmm. We got to do what we can. To protect, that's, yeah, yeah. to protect 100%. the panther.